guys welcome back i have gone back a few pages pages to do the thin pancakes so dutch pancakes are very thin pancakes too they're thicker like than crabs but very very thin so he just said, put all the ingredients in the blender and blend for about 30 seconds. The batter should then be allowed to stand for 30 minutes in a cool place. Heat a small pan over medium heat. Yeah. If we have to wait 30 minutes, my pan doesn't need to be on the fire. Grease and then fry two tablespoons of batter at a time. Swirling to cover the base of the pan. Keep them thin and there'll be no need to turn. Serve roll up with sugar. So, oh, I need the ingredients. Well, not really, but let's do it. Oh, I've, I've got the whole recipe says 125 grams of flour, but I am doing half of it because it's just me. And I don't need a lot of flour because they're going to be thin ones. I don't know why. I I thought it was going to be a quick video. And then I decided to put the flour in this kind of bowl. Anyway, flour is in. And then we need an egg. Well, normally it says two, so now I'm using one. Why is it this opening? That was very daring. Shit. I dropped my egg, a piece of egg, behind the central heating thing. Anyway. I don't know why I told you that, because you can see it. Anyway, milk. 75 milliliters for this recipe. And then it says... A pinch of salt, so... I think that's enough. sure everything is at the bottom okay 30 seconds starting in three two one <laughs> 30 seconds i've got well this much this much it this much better so 30 minutes in the fridge and then we'll fry them up lunch let's make some pancakes so it says two what where did i read it what about two tablespoons better at a time well i'm going to guess It's not going to be round, but oh well. Let's give that a second. I'll be right back. Keep them thin and they will no need to turn. some sugar and I've got the hazelnut spread and I thought maybe let's do one with bacon. In the Netherlands we usually do powdered sugar or molasses but I like mine with cheese 
and sometimes vegan. But with the chocolate spread is very good too. Is it in every country the same that the first one always fails? It says it, I shouldn't be able to keep it thin and there no there'll, there will be no need to turn but I have to close I This looks very unnatural So let's pour in this one for sugar, let's, let's see if I can make a round one. No, I can't. Put the sugar in the middle. The other one is almost done, so let's give this one a try. <laughs> There's a very thin, nice pancake. I like both, the thicker and the thinner, but I'm not a big fan of just normal sugar. So, bacon. pieces or maybe three let's do three because there are three table three that's one there oh this is one Going to be a bigger one, maybe. I I don't know. Maybe I don't know what two tablespoons are, but chocolate spread pancake. Just a very thin way. To easily eat chocolate spread, hazelnut spread. Mm. I think I should have made the full batch because I would, I would eat if could have done eaten the whole thing. So maybe it's good. I only made half, but I have got a little bit left. So I think I'm doing this one, the last one with. More spread. So good. This one needs. But yeah, this one looks more like the Dutch ones. And I think you we make them the same, but the better would be a little bit thicker, I guess. But I like, this is good, with the blending and resting, let me see if I have to turn this, I know the recipe does this, I don't need to turn it, but I wasn't patient enough. Oh, 
I'm doing now with bacon and then I'm going to do one with the chocolate spread again so I'm very curious how the bacon and the chocolate spread because there's still the bacon fat <laughs> right anyway that was a failure I don't have any patience. I could eat some more than the two smaller ones I just had. But if you're going to make pancakes, just eat pancakes, right? I know I can talk about calories and, you know, no sugar, low sugar, but I'm, I'm, I'm just. I chose to eat pancakes, so I'm going to eat pancakes. I think that one is done, so let's put it one time so this and like this. Cut on the board. Now let's put this in. This one's hot. Huh. Boom. I'm going to be ha ah, burn. Anyway, this is just me. More of an eating video than a cooking video, but it's good. Mm. And I know people who do who pour more molasses on this or. Tomato ketchup. Which both I think is pretty good, but without it, it's pretty good too. Oh, I ate, eaten, what is it? Four pancakes. Two big ones, two small ones. In ten minutes, in five minutes. I'm eating way too fast. <laughs> and I couldn't find the ingredient that I was going to need for the next one, so. This will be the last recipe I make today because I have to order. It's not as expensive, but I was hoping to get get it here. So last one. This is the best one. Look how nice and round. Doesn't have a lot of color, sadly, but I can't wait anymore. I can't say that I'm hungry anymore, but. Oh. But, yeah, couldn't wait. Anyway, thanks for watching. I have. Some cleaning up to do because the something fell with dirty water in it. So a quick wipe before I'm going to say goodbye and hopefully see you in the next video. Anyway, if you like pancakes, 
the thicker ones or the thinner ones make them because pancakes are good. I like most food. Anyway, thanks for watching.